I am sure that each of us here parents sing praises for their children when they make that first step with every achievement as our kids grow up they make us proud tonight I'm going to reverse that order because tonight is dad's special night it's our turn to sing long overdue praises for our dad to most of you here he is General Felix A. Browner, Jr. But to me, my mom, my sisters, kids, and grandkids, he has always been simply dad, daddy or daddy too, to his great-grandchildren. I'm sure many of you here know that being a child of a general puts you in a position where you begin to be proud of your roots. Dad, known to his siblings as brother, is the son of Superintendent Felix U. Browner Sr. and Mrs. Juana Aliak. Born second out of a family of six girls and six boys, Dad, being the eldest, appointed himself as carer of the pack. He studied in Solano Elementary School and then finished his high school years a valedictorian in Ifugao Academy, Kiangan. He went to the University of the Philippines, Diliman, and took up engineering, but because of financial issues, decided to enroll at the Philippine Military Academy. Dad graduated at the top of his class and was awarded the Presidential Sabre in 1957. Dad's military career spanned 35 years and was posted as NOCOM commander before retiring in 1988. Despite Dad's work assignments, which was normally out of town, Mom seemed to have always kept the family together by taking us to spend some time with Dad. We did not know the extent of danger we were placed in, but to me, it was just exciting being with the General. It was fun being surrounded by tanks and six bys whenever we traveled. Being a dress ma'am, even at a young age, and all the perks that came with dad's status. It was even more exciting on entertainment nights, highlighted by mom and dad singing their duets. Dad became a role model for my brother Boboy, who also graduated from the Philippine Military Academy in 1984. In 1986, Boboy decided it was time to settle down and married his longtime girlfriend, Miss Jenny Gopiao, in what was Boboy's most memorable moment. Unfortunately, he was taken from us unexpectedly when in February 1988, whilst en route to his camp at Ginabatan Albay, Boboy and his troops were killed in combat. Boboy was 24. Boboy's death was the greatest gift a father could give his country. The life of his one and only son who fought for the same cause. And then there was just us, all four girls. Each and every one of us, he fondly called Neneng. Neneng one, that's me, married and migrated to Australia, produced four beautiful daughters, the eldest being Katka, who is one semester away from finishing her studies at the University of Western Sydney as an IT specialist. She is now married to Scott Fitzpatrick and are blessed with two children, Maya Po Phoenix, who's five years old, and her sister Katie, now two. My second Ishara, who took up fashion design at the prestigious KVB College in Sydney and just finished her two years stint working at a fashion house in London. Her partner James, who is originally from UK, is here to grace this family event. Cheryl and her spouse Eddie produced a cute little girl named Ava. Their younger sister is Carla, who is nine years old. I found colors in my life again when I fell in love for the second time and married Renee Martin who belongs to a family of politicians in Malolos, Bulacan. Neneng too, that's Ikit, a physical therapist, migrated to the U.S. in 1994 and now manages her company, providing rehabilitative care for her clients from all over Houston, Texas. 
She has a son, Jaylix, who has a degree in BS Biology, but decided to work in the hospitality industry and now manages Subway. With Jaylix is his partner, Shelly, and her cute little girl, Riley, who is six years old. Ikit's daughter, Jaisul, is currently studying psychology at Houston Community College and will be going to the University of Houston next semester to continue her studies. Neneng Three, Yvonne, is a graduate of BS Mathematics at the University of Santo Tomas and finished her postgraduate degree at the University of Wollongong, Australia, where she bagged an award for high distinction. She is currently working as an MIS specialist in one of USAID-sponsored Philippine projects by Kimonix International. She married a former colleague, Dave Domingo, who is a lead solutions analyst in Globe Telecom. They now have a bright 15-month-old son, Davon, Nenning for Yvette, graduated from the University of the Philippines in Los Baños. She went to the States and studied at the University of Houston, graduated magna cum laude with a degree in communication disorders, and was president of the Golden Key International Honor Society. She now owns and manages FAB Learning Center, a school for preschoolers, and is also taking her master's studies in special education. She is married to Alan Bora, son of former Comilec Commissioner Resurrection Bora and Mrs. Aurora Bora. Finally called Borgs, he works as a professor at the College of Computer Studies at De La Salle University. His academic competency qualified him as a researcher on computational linguistics and natural language processing, which sends him traveling all over the Philippines and abroad. Before, my dad always had his troops in tow. Now, he has his great-grandchildren following him around. Dad has this charm which draws his great-grandchildren to him like magnet to steel. He has easily established this special bond with all his great-grandchildren. It's just amazing to see my dad, a former general, willingly melting in the service of his great apos. My singing general dad has not stopped serving his cause and his country even at 75. To this day, I still feel a certain tingle of joy and pride knowing that my dad still serves his country joyfully by singing his heart out in charity concerts and fundraising activities for the benefit of injured soldiers. Dad, in partnership with my mom who is a soprano, have developed the same passion, the passion of singing and the passion of helping others and making a difference. His being a blessing to others extends even far beyond his battalion, our home, or his years in the military. My dad has been a good example in his career in the military, in being a husband, a father, grandfather, and a great-grandfather. And I just want to say that I have so much respect for this person who have achieved so much in life. We love you very much, Dad. May the Lord bless you with health, vigor, strength, vitality, and longer life. Happy birthday, Dad. <laughs>